So tell me something else. What did you do with your mommy? I don't know. You don't remember? Yeah. How, okay, tell me about today. What did you eat for breakfast? Waffles. Ooh, waffles with what? You eat some frutas? No, I ate frutas at the studio because there's grapes. <laughs> You're silly. Remember the us? Remember the show with my faces like this? Yes. I remember. She does like that. Adria? Like she does like She makes <laughs> She makes funny faces. Yeah. She makes me laugh. Yeah, I know. She's a goofball. <laughs> She's a cotton ball. <laughs> so you having fun with your with your mommy here selling your clothes and stuff? How's uh, the Danny be? You mean Danielle Brian has a That's right, Danielle Brian has a Danny B, girl, boy. You Mama? have fun with your mom when you do stuff like this? Mom, no. I want to see me go fast, eat it. Not too fast, and you're going to start coughing and choking. Yeah, I'm going to do more slower than. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to do more You're so cute. I just want to. A picture of you. Then you have a blanket. And then I'm gonna mi I miss you when I don't see you for a long time. I need to see you all the time. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> okay, okay. Now we're on our way to go see House of Danny B's new studio in downtown Tampa.
Go, mommy's calling you. Go, mommy's calling you. Go, go. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, I look crazy. What's good? What's good, mi gente? What's good, my people? It was a dark, stormy night. <sighs> What's good, family? It's your girl, Nico. It's been a hot little minute since I've dropped the video. Um, I've just been busy, busy. Yeah, going through a lot of transitions in life. Um, I quit my part-time job. I got hired full-time for Young Life staff, even though I'm not starting that probably until next year. I am full-time reselling right now. And as you can tell, I haven't really lost any weight. I am holding this little light here. I am in my storage unit right now. I'm doing my inventory. That's where I keep my inventory. So I need to just pop on here and talk about 75 hard. Yes, yes, 75 hard. So I just kind of wanted to talk about you know what i learned from it you know if you followed some of my last videos uh, i made it to like day 22 and um failed they don't call it 75 hard for no reason um but just wanted to talk about you know things that i've learned you know things that i learned things that i don't like about 75 hard um you know, what am I gonna do about what I learned? So anyways, let's get into it. So number one, um, I really thrive off of structure. Um, structure that someone else puts in place. When I try to put something in place, some sort of structure, um, sometimes I don't have the follow through because I think that, you know, oh, I made that. So it's not really like, you know, I can just, uh, you know, do whatever. Um, but the structure of 75 hard uh, really kept me in place, having a plan set every day of tasks that I need to get done um, really um, kept me in check. Number two, um, the reading aspect was really cool. Um, it helped me stay in line with, you know, reading my word. And I also read a whole book um, I read a book called Pregnant Girl. I read a whole book. I can't remember when was, when was the last time I sat down and read a whole book from, you know, beginning to end. And I, I really like that. Um, that structure really helped. Cause I do have struggle with ADHD. And so sometimes I get into a book and I'll read the first three pages and then I'll get bored with it and want to read another book and start another book. And it's just like a cycle. So the structure really helped me with, um, you know, my, my focus on reading. Number three. So waking up early and starting your tasks early. And this, to me, this goes with life period. Um, you know, starting early is pivotal to, get to, to success, to getting what you need done. Um, you know, especially if you have children, um, children with special needs, children with um, disabilities, and even if for you and yourself, if you have a disability, um, just giving yourself time, um, waking up early, going to sleep at a good time, getting your rest, um, that gives you time. Because sometimes I can be a little sluggish in the morning, but then once I get started, you know, get up, brush my teeth, drink that cup of coffee. I, mean, I would light a candle and not even change it on my pajamas, keep my pajamas on and lay in bed and read. And I would be excited to wake up and do that. So getting up early is pivotal. Why 75 hard isn't good for me right now. 
so first off starting over the thought of starting over um really messed me up like really messed me up um especially trying to document it on youtube thinking okay how am i gonna explain this to everybody what is this gonna be attempt two day five and my, my mind couldn't process it and so i felt like it kind of burnt me out i have way too many things to do and to focus on besides 75 hard plus having adhd what happened was i i hyper focused on it yes I hyper focused on it i felt accomplished when i got the task done but the fact that on day 22 when i failed um there was definitely a feeling of i don't want to do this uh, why i try so hard and i have to start over again to day one you know they say you know in the 75 hard facebook group they say you have to think of it as a program and not a challenge but if it wasn't a challenge why are the days numbered you know what i mean but i get it it's because it's creating mental toughness it's building you know a strong foundation and creating those good habits i get it but at the time my mind couldn't deal with it and i just never restarted working out two times a day caused me to injure myself um right now at this weight even at the weight when i was losing weight i was i got down to like 280 280 and um that was still too heavy and i was so exhausted and my knees hurt my everything hurt me okay and i would take tylenol and not a lead and taking too many painkillers is not good for you and so I, you know i would take the baths the epsom salt baths and even my husband would give me massages and it was just it was too much it was too much will i start over maybe 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 once i lose 20 i need mean like 20 to 50 pounds um i would like to restart it i don't want to start it being as heavy as i am right now because for one um i just don't want to i don't want to injure myself i don't want to cause long-term harm and so um i want to do it the smart way um, for me that's that's my opinion you know you may have a different opinion but for me i've i have been trying to lose weight for a long time i have a lot i have a lot of information under my belt about myself and what works for me uh, what i think is going to work for me is to restart 75 hard um you know once i have already you know lost some weight and i don't have so much weight on my ankles and on my knees because boy oh boy it is not easy in one of my next videos i'm going to go over a formula that i found in a book um that this nutritionist wrote i'm gonna share all the information the next in the next video but it's a formula that nutritionists use to calculate how many cal be, you know based on your height weight um your age oh there's a whole bunch of different factors you know how active you are um for you to calculate how many calories you should be eating to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight so um you know stay tuned for you that you know my ultimate goal is my life goal it feels like is finding balance with working at home you know being self-employed and um you know having the kids home with homeschooling them and um you know sometimes it can be it can be challenging it can be daunting having the kids there sometimes it can be very hard to focus sometimes i feel like i'm going crazy but you know where there's a will there's a way i believe that if i keep trying um you know god will work it out and through god all things are possible so you know you just gotta want it i want to lose 20 pounds before we go to camp june 5th sometime in june so june 5th or june i don't remember exactly but I want to lose 20 pounds before then and i think that's very doable today is march 28th okay. it was today that is my plans um, i'm still going to incorporate a lot of 
the things that I learned from 75 hard. Oh, I'm done with this video. All right, I'm gonna leave y'all to it. Stay tuned for some reselling content, for some weight loss content. Just stay tuned for whatever I feel like throwing out there. I'm not gonna be one of those type of people who have one set thing. There's a lot of different complex um, endeavors that I have going on. We're all complex creatures. There's never one side of us. So I'm not gonna just share one side. I'm gonna share as much as God wants me to. So y'all stay blessed. I love y'all. Um, before you go to sleep tonight, just lift up a prayer. God is listening. He's waiting for you to just turn your head to him, turn your eyes to him and ask him to help you with whatever, whatever it is that you want help with. He's just waiting for you. So I promise you, if you do that, he will come through for you as he has come through for me every single time. His love never fails. Never. Peace.